Welcome back to Dan's Messy Garage. I lost my other little messy garage paper. The last time I saw it, it was on the uh, Monarch Hood workbench. It'll probably turn up though. But this is going to be part seven of me doing a garage rebuild on a 302 Ford engine. I got my head bolts in. They're all right here. Got my push rods. Got the rockers. Everything. First, I'm going to just swap out these wrong head bolts for the correct head bolts. Here we go. I'm just going to use my quarter inch impact to take these old bolts out one at a time, put the new ones in one at a time. And this is going to be perfect for the first torque sequence. So let me get started. Now I'm going to torque them all to 50 foot pounds. Okay, final torque will be 70. Get this set, 50, 60. Okay, a little double clip check. All right, repeat. Feels like my socket broke.
think I see my torque wrench starting to slip here. It's like it's failing or something. And that's disturbing. I had this thing for many years. It served me well. Okay, we're done with that. Next, I'll be dropping in lifters and push rods. Guess what I forgot to do? Remember I was telling you that these bottom bolts go into the water jackets? You're supposed to put thread sealer on? I didn't. So, you know, I'm not going to record this, but I'm going to take them out one at a time, put thread sealer on and put them in. Live and learn. Okay, I corrected my uh, fupa there. I got thread seal on them all. They're all checked, rechecked, double clicked. What I thought was going screwy with my torque wrench was there's a locking collar right in here, and uh, wasn't locked in. And when I was pulling on it, it was moving. Gave me a little start there, but everything's fine. All right. I'm, next, I'm going to drop in the roller lifters, the dog bones that hold the lifters from rotating, push rods, and the lifters all have a, a roller. They've been soaking in oil. Whoops. Everything's nice and slippery. And they just drop down in the bores. I mean, there's not much to see here, folks. Slide them down in there. Now these lifters, I had them all apart, cleaned out the insides of them. Everything's in good shape. Going back, going well. They're sliding in pretty easy here. They're just slick, slick as heck. A lot of oil on them. What I'm using at first in the engine is a uh, break-in oil just a 30 weight lucas break-in oil it's got the zinc and zddp and all the good stuff i know you don't need it for roller engines but it doesn't hurt anything to have it because it's going to help the rings break in and uh just keep things from wearing out when you first start it. Okay. And there. I mean, there's some engines. Uh, everybody a, loves LS engines. But you got to take the heads off and get the lifters out. You don't have to do that on these. All right, let me um, finish this. And then I got to slide the dog bones in places. There's eight of them. One dog bone holds two lifters from turning. See if I can illustrate that without dripping oil everywhere here but dog bone fits over the lifter and it keeps them from rotating because if if the lifter is turned sideways on a roller cam uh, it's going to be the end of the engine it's going to tear up the cam put metal filings in, in the oil you're going to have a bad day Speaking of bad days, why can't I get that one in there? Maybe if my hands weren't so oily. Mm. 
Just had to tilt it at the right angle to get in. All right. And the last one. Just like that. Okay, get this out of the way. Drop. Dog bones have the word up on them with a bump. Bump goes up with the word up. Whoops. There we are. Then the push rods just drop through the head right into the lifter. They're all the same length. These are non-adjustable rockers that I'm going to be putting on it. I already checked the uh, uh, preload on the lifters. Because when you tighten down the rocker nut, you want to have a half to one turn past zero lash before the bolt tightens. And I got that. So, slimy buggers out of here and the last dog bone. Okay. Get out of the way. I'm going to make sure that the little bump. And the word up or up, they are. There's a lifter tray called the spider. Uh, it holds the dog bones down so they don't pop off. If they pop off, the lifters rotate, hence bad day. All right. Now, my tray lifter tray is in the ultrasonic cleaner right now so what I'm going to do is move on to putting on rockers and fulcrums and let me show you how that is yep. all right I got all the pieces here have well, ultrasonic cleaner is done. All right, you got a bolt, a fulcrum that fits. Ah, my hands are slimy. In a rocker, so the rocker can flop back and forth. And then this little U channel goes on that fulcrum to keep keep it from pivoting so got to put all that on and you don't have to watch me do this there's 16 of them that go on there I got to get my lifter tray out of the ultrasonic cleaner, and uh, I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to prime the engine. I got a tool. It's just a, a round shaft with a hex on the end. It goes down in the 
where the distributor would and hooks onto that oil pump dry shaft and you spin it counterclockwise. I put an oil filter on it, oil pressure gauge. The oil shouldn't leak out anywhere. I'm gonna put some in first. I got five quarts of uh, break-in oil. I'm just gonna dump that in here. It'll run down into the oil pan. Okay, I'm going to turn this jug upside down in my little contraption over there to drain out all the oil that's in that. And I use that for my squirt cans. All right, oil pressure gauge is on, oil pressure, I mean, oil filters on. It's got oil in it. I'm gonna start spinning this and we should get some oil pressure. There you go. Rotate the crank. Whoops, I got a leak. Okay, let me fix the leak. Like I didn't tighten that little 3 8 fitting enough. I need an open end for that. See if that fixed it. Nope. All right, what's the problem here, folks? Still leaking. Well, we got 62 pounds of oil pressure with that drill, and uh, uh, that's wonderful. It's perfect. So, what I'm going to keep doing is rotate the engine. Give it uh, more oil pressure. I want to see oil come out of all the rocker arms. And uh, I'm a mess. I got to find something to rag. And this is going to be the end of this part seven. Um, things went together okay. So it's time to end on a good note. Don't want to push my luck. You have a good evening. And look for part eight when I'll be putting on intake manifold and maybe I'll paint the engine first. I'll figure it out. Bye.